Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can customize your shop page using Page Builder, such as the button verb, Elementor, Visual Composer, Beaver, TV, or any other page builder you want. So this is my default shop page. It looks okay, but not great. With the help with page builder, I think you can build uh, much better pages than this. For example, you want to show the best-selling products first, then the products, uh, products by categories, and and so on. So um, here is the plan. Here is how we're going to do that. First, we create a page using WooCommerce shop code and page builder and second make that page make that page the the shop page of our store and how we do the second point we are going to create a chai theme and put a few lines of code into that which is very easy and anyone can do that without any coding skill or without understanding any part this. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to use Elementor in this video, but as I mentioned, you can use any kind of page builder you want. You can even use the default classic text editor of WordPress if you like. No problem. I'm going to use Elementor. So I'm going to create a page, new page here. A normal page and name it my new shop but you may want to name it something else and publish that publish it you can publish the page later but this is uh, what I usually do and I click edit with Elementor and you can see that this is the default blank page I don't know about you, but I want to remove the cyber. And the trick with Elementor is to select full width here. Click on update. Hmm. Let me check. Okay, now we have the cyber removed. I'm going to quickly design a shop page it will not be beautiful but if you uh, it will show you the steps to to create your dream shop page so i will have three sections feature product best selling And maybe I don't know other things. New release, something like that. And now we're going to use the short codes to display the products. So we go to this page. You will find the URL to this page in the description. <coughs> so here is uh, the the short code you need to pay attention to. So for example, I want to uh, include feature products. So I'm going to include the features product here. Oh, oh. Okay, copy this short code. Close this. I drag a text editor below this feature product title and put the short code in like that. Click apply. And since I don't have any feature product, which is a shame, then there isn't any, anything appears here. And just to, to make sure you know how to make a product as a feature product, you can go to the dashboard, go to products, and there is a, a star here. You can click on that to make it feature product. I'm going to click two of them. 
go back to my page click on that click outside hopefully no okay now we have two products here and I'm going to use next short code which is best selling products I'm going to paste the short code here to clear all the styling and again put it in a text editor under bestseller here and we have we have three three items here and if you wonder what if you what if you want to display the products in two columns only you can click here and in the columns equal to click outside hopefully it, oh, okay you see that there are only two columns now and what if you want to make it three easy change number to three and i don't know um what you uh, what you specify the new releases in your store but if you have a, a category called new releases then you can put the short code here uh, put the short code here to display your new releases um, let me search category okay so if you have a a category if you have a a category okay i'm going to add a new new categories here new, new release and i will put one product into that category for example uh quick edit this one new releases a bit and uh, let's say i'm going to display this okay no. okay so uh, another text editor under new releases and I'm going to display the products category equal let me try to find the category slot new release we quick edit it here slot would be this with this text copy that and you, if you want to include more categories you can separate the slots by commas like a sign sorry maybe this one oh, well, let me paste it outside with Paste it here to clear all the equal. Maybe we need to put them, put the the slugs into a. Okay, it's working. Okay, so we have new releases here. So make sure you put the the slugs inside double quote. So. Let's say I'm happy with this page. I'm um, update that. And exit to my dashboard. And here is my page. I'm going to get the URL of this of this page. Go to all pages here. My new shop page, which is this. Click on view. And this is my this is my page, okay. So you need to st uh, to store this URL, and the next step we are going to use this URL. But before that, let's create a chai team. So creating a chai team is very very easy with WooCommerce uh, with WordPress. So uh, I have the plugin chai team wizard installed here, but in case you haven't. And install that. You can go to plugin add new and search search for Jai theme wizard like that. 
and install and activate this plugin. The purpose of using a child theme is when your main theme is updated, then if you put the changes, the custom changes in your your main theme, your all those changes will be override, will be erased when that theme get updated. So using try theme it is a safe way to modify the function, the style of your current theme. So make sure you always use with try theme if you modify a function or style of the, the, the current the main theme. So next go to tools, try theme wizard and we are going to create a try theme very quickly. You can put anything in like here. You don't need to enter a description or anything like that. And click on create child theme. The next step is to activate the child theme. If you don't activate the child theme, then all, then, uh, all the changes we make later will not have any effect. So I activate the child theme. And now we are going to theme editor. And we we need to select this theme, not stop from. Okay, try theme. This is name I enter when we create the try theme. So click on select, select, and click on theme functions file here, which is this. And we're going to add the theme, the function we need to to make the the page which we have just created our shop page so we will find this circle right in the description so this is the code you need to, to enter and we need to copy this URL so this is this is all we need to do to to make our new page the shop page. I'm going to update the file now. Now I'm going to visit the store to see our new page. Sure enough, you see that this is our new shop page. You can even click here. You go to my new shop page. So that's it. That is how you can quickly create a try theme. Uh, no, you can create a customized shop page for your store with your favorite page builder without using any external plugins. I hope the tutorial has been helpful to you and if you, if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.